when I was um, a single mom and pregnant with my son, I was actually uh, warded to the hospital for preeclampsia. So back then, I received um, the care from many helpful staffers. So it actually inspired me to become a nurse and to help out the others. There are a lot of times that I really feel like um, calling it quits and giving up on my studies because it was so taxing on me, my family and my very young son who needs um, constant care. But I told myself I shouldn't give up. So I really did my best and I squeezed time to study, especially when my son is asleep late at night. So I am actually uh, very proud to say that I did overcome this obstacle. I met Candace in 2010 and uh, at that point when she applied to Nanyang Polytechnic as a nursing student, we was quite puzzled because when we look at her O-level result, she could have chosen any other course rather than nursing. Life wasn't easy for her because her baby was quite young and sometimes you can feel her pain because she told me that I had no time to study, I had no time to do the teamwork. So I was very proud of her when she got twice admitted to a director list. She really kind of impressed me. Hi Candice, just to let you know that NYP School of Health Sciences, we are so proud that uh, you really fulfill your dream as a nurse and hope you continue to enjoy this journey. My mom got cancer, so she also admit to hospital and then went to do chemo and radiotherapy and then subsequently she went to hospice. So throughout this whole journey, I realised that you know, nurses are taking care of her very well and also I want to know more about cancer. I feel that if I were to go to nursing site, I can you know, care for more patients like my mom. Nursing actually helped me to understand that how to behave myself properly. When I just started in nursing, right, I'm very straightforward. I just speak whatever I want. I don't respect anybody. I don't care. Subsequently, I toned down because of you know all the sisters. Actually, most of them are sisters. Uh, they actually help me and guide me. They always tell me say that uh, Felicia, I know that you are naughty, but I also know that you are a very good nurse. When my father met. An accident, then he saw how the nurses really helped him and everything. So that's when he told my mom, I hope that my daughter grow up to be a nurse. Those words were always there with me wherever I go. There's a lot of sacrifices. Being a young mom as a nurse especially because for me, my daughter, I don't get to see when she first time get to walk, get to talk. I remember that time I was working permanent night shift, right? Then I was wearing my uniform, then getting ready to work. She started uh, crying really and she was running after me crying, asking me not to go to work. Of course, I feel very sad, but then I explained to her, my job is important. I have to be at work to serve my patient. And funny, right? She's the same girl who are now is a nurse. That's my greatest achievement. My mom uh, was a bit surprised that I took up nursing. Uh, she said that uh, this is a female job. Uh, why do you intend to do, take up nursing? When she saw me coming back from all my missionary work, she was totally impressed that nursing is not just looking after patients. Thank you so much for being a pillar of support uh, during uh, our mission uh, in Padang Pariyaman. You were just infatigable. Uh, you just went on and on and on and uh, you actually galvanized us and make us a very strong team. When the people of Padang and Aceh, when they come to you, and when they hug you, say thank you, I think that's the biggest pleasure and gift I had in all my mission work. You see, I can't change the world. 
if I can change someone's world, I am very happy. Hi Daddy, Happy Nurses Day. Hey, this is my daughter. Uh, firstly, I just want to say that I'm very proud of everything you've accomplished. Grandma has been in and out of the hospital. Like, this past year has been really tough on you, but I really appreciate how you've been staying strong for not only yourself, but also for the family and making sure that everything is fine. Felicia, I'm happy that uh, you're enjoying what you're doing. You do this because it is a passion. It is what you like. I, I'm really proud of you. And I will do everything I can to support you. Kelly, uh, you from small to big, your life is like this. You didn't let us worry about you in the field. And you can be the first person to be the first person to be the first person. I really believe in you. I really believe in you. I hope you will be able to use your energy. Yes, definitely my mom has influenced me. Hearing her stories from work, I feel very um, inspired to become a nurse just like her. To be that selfless, to put others before yourself, I feel that it's very noble. And I really appreciate everything that you've done for me and Adit. And that you're really a great mom. And I'm sure you're a really great nurse. Ooh.